In Puella Magi Madoka Magica, the girls make a contract with Kyubei, and in so doing, their souls are extracted into soul gems. Whereupon the girls treat this as some kind of fundamental, horrible, existential crisis. And this confused me. Let's say that my soul has, has just been transferred into this glue stick, and we'll call this a soul gem. Um, so my soul is now here, which means it's moved 12 inches. Why is this a big deal? Now, I understand why the girls felt this was violating. It was very violating for Kyubei to do this without their permission. What I found strange was the fact that these 10-year-old girls were treating this as though they now didn't exist anymore. They weren't really human anymore just because their souls had moved. The solution lied in thinking about this not with my Western religious ideas, but realizing that Madoka Magica is made for Japanese audiences and is made with very Japanese beliefs. You gotta look to Buddhism to understand this. See, Buddhists believe in reincarnation. When you die, you will be reborn into some other life. And the problem is, when you die, your soul has to be released from your body to do so. This means that if you die and your soul is over here, you cannot reincarnate the same way that you would before. This has effectively broken the cycle of reincarnation. So by having their souls extracted, these girls are literally lost in a spiritual limbo. It's over. It's done. They can't go any further in their karmic cycle. This is permadeath. If you want to imagine this from a Judeo-Christian perspective, it would be equivalent to a process that damns your soul to hell for eternity. There's no going back. And so you can see why the girls are so depressed by this realization. Some of them have come to accept it, but Madoka in particular finds this horrifying because it is this horrific, horrific situation, again, from a Buddhist perspective. So that's it. And I know this is short and may seem obvious, but uh, it was an important revelation for me, and I wanted to share that with anyone who might not have realized that about Madoka Magica. So... Thanks for watching.